on the draw in round one, and this hand's obviously a mulligan, and he has one land. Uh, this hand on the other hand, I think, is fine. It's not great. Love to see like a tap or a silver guild astro or something, but can certainly stay in the game if you choose F and X. I think it's a keep. It's one of the better creatures we could draw. Love to draw a land, but um, do have a stream of consciousness in our hand, which is going to draw us a card. So I think it's actually fine to keep us on top. Also, the draw which increases the chances we're going to hit all and drops. So I think it's reasonable to keep that. And we do obviously all our cards cost one or two mana, so it's not like we're going to be doing nothing. Be able to, great to be able to cast this next turn and then um, cast this for turn after to get a count on it. Okay, warrior shares a type put plus one plus one counter. Well, that seems pretty good. Okay, that's great. I'm gonna take three here. But that's fine. Next turn we'll be able to play Ink Dissolver and have a stream of consciousness. So it might be against Mono Green Elves, which is pretty sweet. Elf spell, put one one elf on the battlefield. That seems very good. Okay, I'm just gonna hold up stream of consciousness here rather than playing a Zephyr Nest or something. Okay, so our opponent didn't play a spell. Um, we could consider drawing a card off this. Um, moving a counter. Very possibly worth it. Uh, we can still double block this and use a stream of consciousness. It seems kind of bad to waste our mana this turn, so... It's okay. Dissolver, that's a good draw as well. Could consider playing a Zephyr Net here. I don't think it's very really necessary. Oh, so our opponent is also is red green by the look of it. Expect a little more from them this turn that we have right now. Double red, in fact. Certainly makes going for the stream of consciousness has much lower chance of actually coming off because. Obviously, you could well have a removal spell in response. On the other hand, it's still very low risk because we're going to draw a card, whatever, so I think that's fine. 
It's kind of tempting to like block it with everything. Might be worth doing. Plays around removal quite nicely. Block like this. Yeah, I think that's good actually. Okay, let's cast Stream of Consciousness. Okay, it's gonna do two damage there. Um, so we could draw a card off this in response. We probably, w yeah, I think we want to. So yes, we'll reveal that. Starting to mill him pretty quickly here. It's even like an actual question whether it's worth tacking. I mean, it probably is, I guess. But we're milling him pretty quickly. We can play Weight of Conscience here and start beating down. But yeah, it's certainly possible we win. Yes, we also need to get that. Ah, oh, no, opponent scoops. Okay, well, that uh, deck looked very good there. And a mulligan as well. Playing against red green elves by the look of it. Didn't really see anything, I don't think so makes wants to change anything in our deck. I guess Dawn Fluke would be a consideration. You could consider it instead of Um This Kifkin guy, I think. Or even the Avian Changeling. Probably the Kifkin. Don't want to take out any merfolk, ideally. But given that he's playing red removal spells, several of them at least, well we saw two, I think this is pretty good. I think you almost never cast this for its full cost, I guess occasionally. Okay, I think this card's hands of keep. Could do with a planes, but we've got a ponder to find it. And we have so many blue cards in our deck that we can function pretty well without one, to be honest. Seems to be drawing all of our white cards, but that's fine. Okay, I think we want to keep this just because it has a planes. So let's go... Plains, uh, Island Zephanet, Plains. Sure. 
could really do with, yeah, some cheap meth out. But... The hands, nothing's gonna kill us very quickly with this hand. Certainly in terms of creatures. Especially if our opponent misses his first hand pop and doesn't have green mana. Um, I think we want to play this Merfolk first while he has nothing on board. Start making some tokens, hopefully. It's also good with weight of conscience. Okay, tough out, fine. Ooh, we probably want to, uh, as much as it messes up our curve, I think we want to play this Sage of Fables before the Harbinger. Get the extra counter. I think we're going to search up the... Silver Guild Dowser here. Uh, just because it's a tapper which doesn't cost any mana. Yeah, you know, it taps in. I mean, it's not a tapper in that it taps that creature, but it's. Well, effectively, that creature for a turn. And given we have quite a lot to do with our mana, that seems pretty good. It's also a wizard. So let's put that on top. Okay, Sage gets tar fired once more. Still. One card we should possibly be thinking about is Hurly Burly, which does one, do one damage to all non flying creatures. Should be pretty good here. Still be pretty hard for our opponent to come back for him. Okay, playing is not ideal. Um, Okay, let's swing and then we probably just play flyer. Okay, gets oh two one ones with death touch, that's quite good. And he has no islands for island walk. And our douse is tapped. Yeah, we got it. It's decent. I'm not really clear why this is being there. Oh, Clash, sure. Oh, yes, so win the Clash to get Death Touch. And what does he reveal? Cream Crop. Okay, so he didn't win, that's good. Uh, yeah, I'll put this on top. So he's just gonna kill off these two, which is still very good. But we do get to keep our 3 4. Is a decent removal spell. Swing for three. Play ink dissolver.
Okay, I can get first strike. And the question is, is that worth playing Weight of Conscience on? I mean, the thing is, I can't... Playing Weight of Conscience doesn't actually let me attack with any more creatures. This exile, I'd have to tap the Ink Dissolver anyway. Commerce, I actually don't think I want. Oh, so this is this, this. so yes, it's a mere folk feel. Um, yeah, this doesn't actually let me get in for any more damage this turn. So I guess we just attack with the uh, Harbinger. Guess playing, it just lets us swing for five potentially next turn. Yeah, it's probably fine. Got a couple of Zephyr Nets, not like we have nothing to fall back on. Shard volume, my guy, sure. And I still get to exile the next turn because this is going to untap. Okay, that's decent. Make it balls. It's so crazy if that's common. It's really strong. Something to make one of their lands into an island would be a good draw here. And I think he's going to free this turn. It's pretty hard for him to win if he chumps with this. Speak of a devil. Okay, that's good. So he basically has to have removal this turn. Yeah, it's pretty hard to see what our opponent can do here. Says he's so unlucky. He stacked in a very different film. He drew plenty of lands this game though, so it's pretty... Like, I don't know why his deck couldn't have done anything. Well, he's got five lands in place. Okay, well, that was a good round. Our uh, deck looked very good. Um, didn't have a lot of opposition for a lot of it, but... Nonetheless, looks looked pretty solid, and I'll see you back for round two.